so like I was saying before, uh, WD-40 has a lot of uses. You know, it's not just for squeaks and stuff like that, but you can use it as a lubricant, a penetrant to rusty bolts and stuff like that. But as we see behind me here, I'm using it on this, uh, this vinyl top because it's leaking. And it's really good for sealing up things like canvas and leather. You can actually use this on your car, uh, leather, on your shoes, or whatever you want to recondition, and it will give it a watertight seal, especially around these seams. So we let it soak in. It's soaking in. We're gonna let that dry up over overnight, and uh, go back again and just wipe it over it, and it'll be good as new. So that'll keep the rain out. The rain comes in these stitches along your your panel, of your car. So. See those stitches there, and, they're, and at, uh, over time they fade. This car is 23 years old, but unless you all know how to stitch leather and canvas, I do. Um, we're not gonna do that today, though. This is a nice fix, so keep that in mind. I wouldn't bother with a brand new car. It should be fine for a couple years, but MD40's got a lot of uses. And we're gonna get into some of those uses a little bit later. It's waterproof. Not only is it a lubricant, but it has special polymers in it that actually will water seal tight any leather or canvas, so you can use it on your shoes. But in this case, we're gonna soak this in, let it spray, and particularly attention, we're gonna pay attention to the seams. And we're just gonna let this dry and rub this in. Not only is it going to help seal the roof, but it's also gonna give it back some spring and some elasticity in it when it recloses and retracts, you know? So just something that you could try if you got a, a uh, convertible and it's a little worn, a little old, WD-40 does the trick.